It's the Apple Journal app and the Day One Journal app, the only two kinds of journaling apps that you can find. Well, apparently not. I've had a look and there's a plethora of these things hanging about the place. Well, with some recommendations and a prompt from an independent developer, I'm going to talk about two more that I've discovered. Hey there, I'm Mark from The Spark. Last year, I got back into running in a major way. To the point now where, despite having slacked off over the last few months and gained a few pounds because of it, I actually find myself missing it. I also developed a great habit of eating healthily at the start of last year and I felt really good because of it. I felt physically capable, not tired, and I began each day ready to face whatever challenges came my way. But here's the thing that I discovered. Unless we think about why we're doing these things and then write down why we're doing these things, I would argue that we can quite quickly forget our initial reasons for getting going. And when something stressful happens like it did with me a few months ago or a life event gets in the way, then we can drop back into bad habits before we've had time to process what's happening. And I think this is where journaling daily really comes into its own and why it's good for our mental health. In fact, a quick Google search, go ahead and do one after you've watched this video, will bring you many, many articles and scientific papers where they'll all say something like, expressive writing through journaling can be a powerful way to process stress, trauma, and different emotions. Now, I've made a few videos over the last few months where I've talked about journaling, uh, bullet journaling on the Kindle Scribe, the Apple Journal app, and the Day One Journal app. And these videos have been well received. So it seems like you, the watching audience, see some value in writing or tapping down your thoughts on digital paper. Now, despite how much I love my Scribe, it's actually these smartphone apps that have really helped me focus on what I'm doing with my life and what I'm paying attention to. Because being able to quickly grab my iPhone and open up the journal app, I found helps me think clearly about how I'm going to go about my day to come, just as they help me jot down my thoughts from the days that have been. In fact, my developing love of these kinds of apps has sent me down a bit of a rabbit hole about what's available in this journaling space other than just the Day One Journal and the Apple Journal. These are apps designed specially to help us journal regularly and ultimately hope to help us with that aforementioned mental health. So in this video, I'm gonna explore two apps with you from scratch. I'm gonna fire them up for the first time with you and we'll see together what niche within the journaling app world they inhabit or whether they're just wannabe clones of day one, which you might argue is all that the Apple Journal is anyway. So these two apps are Momently and Stoic. Now I want you to note that I'm receiving no sponsorship from either of these apps, though I did get a request from the Momently developer asking if I take a look at it. And the Stoic app has had a number of honorable mentions in the comments and my social media feeds. Be rest assured that this deep dive into these apps will be as bias free as I can make it. But just before we get into them, while we're talking of sponsorship, it does seem an appropriate time to say that if after watching this video, you find value in my content and you find it helpful, would you please consider becoming a member of the channel at just a few pounds or dollars every month or support me via my Buy Me A Coffee account. Okay, enough of that shameless self-promotion. Let's get into this. Okay, so the first app we're gonna look at is Momently. This app wasn't free and there is no trial for it as far as I could see. It is £1.99. And um, this was the app that a develop, the developer of the app encouraged me to take a look at. So he didn't offer to give me it for free, he just asked if I would take a look at it. So I have paid for it, which means this really is going to be an unbiased review of this journaling app. So let's open it up, see what happens. Haven't looked at any of these apps before, so I am looking at them the first time that you're seeing them, I'm seeing them. Okay, so get started, restore from momently backup. Well, we don't have a backup, so let's get started and put my name in here. 
tell it when I was born. Okay, I put when I was born in there. Um, I didn't think it was wise to share that so overtly on the internet. <laughs> um, I'll set a profile picture as well. There we go. Choose the old classic. Continue. Would I like to sync with iCloud? Yep, I definitely will. And add my first moment. Well, there we go. So we're going to get started straight away. So we shall tap this button and see what it brings up. Okay, so a title will make your moment stand out more. I like the orange aesthetic this has got. It's very clean and, and uh, minimalist. Camera, photos, track the place where you've been by adding a place, add people to a moment, and trips. Whatever that is. I'm sure it's pretty self-explanatory, but we'll get into that. Got it. I understand all those things. Now, does this have the... Um, the suggestions API built into it, uh, as does day one and took advantage of what Apple brought out with the Apple journal. Doesn't look like it for the moment, um, but we'll uh, we'll put something in here, test, um, we can change the date. So we'll just confirm the date, even put the time in there as well. And then we've got down here, so we can give it a, a title. Um, just give it a hello, tap that. We could take a picture so we would allow access to our camera and photos obviously then we need to select a photo let's select the most recent one that i did it was a thumbnail from another video the video i did on the kindle um, and so places current location or you can search for places let me search for um let me just search for my my home city of leeds there we go i guess you could even be more precise than that i could set the pin emoji <laughs> that's quite that's quite nice i suppose um uh yeah what well, I, I don't know um let's let's do let's do this one leads is on fire there we go look so i guess you could do a different pin emoji for each place that you um you visit that might um might give it a bit more emotion kind of at a glance as to where it is let's confirm that and then down here so you can add a new person okay so it doesn't take from your contacts you actually have to add it in so we'll call these my favorite two things um there we go with a nickname and um, we'll not set my birthday whatever you want here we go so we 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 were there with please. <laughs> That's me and please. And then down here, what's happening down here? Okay, so this is the trip. So we went on a nice, it was very nice. I'll just, whatever you call it, maybe. Um, okay, let's, it's just been Christmas. So say it was a Christmas trip to relatives or something. Uh, you have a selection of some nice fonts there. American typewriter is always a, one that I like, what happened on this trip, um, met with family. And then again, you can take a picture. Let's open the camera roll and just choose a picture of a moon. There we go. And that's our trip done. So we will save. Um, I guess you can have more pictures as well. Um, yeah, you can. Not sure how many, but probably quite a few. So it's tagged. Christmas, so that's the Christmas trip that we've done there, and we click save. So that's that's a moment done set up. What is on this day? Okay, so it doesn't look like it's got suggestions uh, API. Definitely not in there. And you just press that to add another one. So maybe on this day, if you build up a moment, a lot of them, it would do this day from last year. Maybe if it was January the second, twenty twenty three. And then that's all your moments there. Let's tap into my profile here. Let's see what other options do we get. So yeah, auto, dark or light, depending on what you're doing. Oh, you can change the app icon. That's quite nice. Makes it a bit of a, more of a personalized thing, which is what a journal should be all about. You can change the accent color. Well, we'll keep that on orange. You can do carousel or grid. So, okay, so I guess that's with your pictures rather than swiping from side to side, it would be a nice kind of arranged grid. Does have sound effects on there. I do have sound switched off on here. Maybe I should turn that on then, see what happens. 
Um, so that's all that's available in general. In personal info, which are my name and my date of birth. Data, iCloud Sync, Sync only over Wi-Fi, and you can import and export. Okay, well, that's interesting. Maybe you can export from day one. I don't think you can export from the Apple Journal just yet, but that's nice. You could bring it all into here uh, if you want to, and you can also create a backup file, give it a passcode. So different, so if Renton wanted snooping with a passcode or Face ID, all right, I assume then, yeah, that's different from whatever passcode you use for your phone. That's a nice thing. And obviously you could use Face ID as well once you've set up your passcode there. And that looks about it. So you can follow these guys, the developer there, there and there if you wish to. All very simple. So it that, that is, this is an uber simple um, journaling app compared to the Apple Journal, especially day one. Maybe that's its USP, that it's it's so much even more simpler than, than those other apps that are out there. So yeah, I don't think there's much more I can do on here um, for an independent developer. Well done, um, looks good. Did cost me two quid, wasn't free, uh, unlike day one basic and the Apple Journal. But there we are, you want to support independent developers, that would be a way to go. I just wanna check there's nothing else I can do in here. No, um, just do what we did before. There we are. Okay, so that is Momently. Do you use this app? Is there stuff that I'm missing? Uh, can you fill me in? Um, if not, I think that's that's a great simple app. And uh, yeah, you can support a developer by paying two quid for it. There we go. Okay, so now let's move on to Stoic. That's the second app. This is just one that came up in a number of uh, comments on social media and um, people will be using Stoic. And so let's check Stoic out. Build healthy habits and take care of your mental well-being. I haven't looked at this before. This is the first thing. Uh, I'm the first time I'm seeing it. It's the first time that you're seeing it. Um, I'll not skip out of this. I will go to next and see what it says. So this one is about helping your mental health. Um, so anything specific you'd like to work on? The answers won't stop you from accessing any activities and you can change your settings later. Well, let's say something I'm, I always struggle with and that's uh, maybe that's why I, I, I do a YouTube channel focused on tech and productivity because I, I like to find ways to help me be more productive. So increase focus and productivity. Can you choose more than one? Yes, you can. I wonder what this does within the app. Anyway, self-improvement, there we go. Do you have any favorite types of activities? Ooh, well, let's say I like journaling. <laughs> there we go. Um, and healthy habits form consistency. When will you make time to work on your mental health? So you can give it three, uh, up to three times there from it will alert you. There you go. So if you wanted to just do in the evening after you'd had your day. Um, there we go. So that's that. So next... We'll allow it to send notifications. We need a few seconds to prepare Stoic for you. Wow. 3,514 people said Stoic helped them feel better. Custom exercises, creating an optimal plan, preparing your first activity. This can't be free. There must be in-app purchases in this at some point. Reflections, customization, write your own prompts and add habits you'd like to track. Well, let's see what this does here. So we can... An evening reflection, sum up your day. Welcome to your first daily reflection. Well, there's a lot of, there seems to be a lot of thought gone into this and its USP is clearly helping your mental health. Um, every day you'll find a stoic short morning preparation and evening reflection. Since it's the middle of the day, we've prepared only one introductory reflection for you. Okay, let's see what that is. How well rested did you feel today? Oh, well, okay, I'll just put it in the middle. <laughs> it will get better, no worries. We've prepared sleep-rated tools for you. Wow, there's a lot going on. My day wasn't very stressful. Um, I was mediumly productive. A short summary of the day, give permissions to the library, allow full access, there you go. Ah, I can... Stoic filter. Okay, some kind of filter to it there, doesn't really look... How did it, why did it add those? So can I add, delete? I'm gonna delete that as well. Actually, it seems to just add the first 
few things that I've chosen. What's the magic button do there? Ah, okay. So this does have the API for adding suggestions uh, as well as to where you've been, what you've done, etc. Okay. So you can do that just like you can do with day one and um, the Apple Journal. And yes, I've been listening to Queen. I love Queen. If you like Queen, tell me in the comment section. If you don't like Queen, tell me why you don't like Queen in the comment section. There we go. We'll cancel back out of that. Um, just write hello in there. Plus button. Okay, voice recording, open camera, photo library. Okay, so you can have more photos on there. Our images, these must have, the default must be to add your two most recent ones. Um, let's get rid of those and see what it looks like then when we finish the the journaling for the day. What else have we got in here? Um, and draw, oh, draw. <laughs> this is cool. Wow, that, that is something that wasn't on the other, the other app. So it looks like it's a standard kind of pen toolkit that you have uh, in notes and everywhere else on iOS. And it presents it as like a picture. I like that. That's that's nice. Anything else on there? Okay, and the voice recording. Transcribe. Okay, let's try this. Allow. Tap to record another note. Hello everyone. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> and it transcribes it really well. And up here tells you that you've got something going on there in terms of a voice note. Um, and again, you cannot transcribe it if you don't want to. All right, so those are the various things that you can do uh, within this kind of short summary of your day. You've completed your first reflection and started a streak. We all love streaks. They are motivating, but you can turn them off if you want to. And then what happens when we tap next? How many days do you want to reach with your streak? Let's just say three days for now. And notice that went up to 30 days. Good job. Daily reflection completed, first journaling prompt answered, first productivity metric added, first stress metric added. Keep exploring stoic. Okay, so we've got some journaling suggestions down here. Again, yeah, they're the API, it's the suggestions API. Three dots, we can change the date. And I guess when you go into the moments, you can change the moment uh, that you choose as well. Editor preferences, so color, color theme matches what you've got going on on your phone. App icon, again, you can change it to whatever you want there by the looks of it and so if you don't want it to be obvious that it's a journal you can just change some random um, icon there as well in case you don't want people to know that it is what it is you can change the app icon you can change the font if you don't get two selections i like avenir 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 i like avenir so i'd, I'd keep that font um, system font size, so if you want to change the font size, you could, for those who are a little bit harder of seeing. So you can change the font size, that makes it more comfortable for you. You can show or not show the streak, show or not show badges. The memories thing is obviously to do with the suggestions API, I would imagine. So text margins narrow, moderate, wide. Line spacing, medium and big. And standard, medium and big. Not sure what focus mode is. It's show me down there. Focus. Well, we'll keep it on anyway, see what happens. And then there's refresh current location. I think it first said allow location. I'd skip it because it did have my address on it there as well. Um, you can't tap any of these, but it tells you what's in the session there. What's in more? Oh, just delete. Okay, so that kind of all affects what we're doing here, I guess. Hello again. Yep. Yeah. So that's changed the font and the spacing and everything, yep, yeah, okay. Good job, I've done that. Gives you the time it took you to complete your journal, quite like that. If you enjoyed this exercise, add it to your favorites or share it. So you can share this journal to your friends. Copy as plain text or markdown, whoops. Export as text or markdown or share as an image. And we'll complete that. I'm gonna get very confused. Happy New Year, time to reflect, appreciate dreams. So I'm doing this at the start of 2024, if you're watching it any other time of the year. So it wants me to prepare for 2024 and gives me some kind of ways to look back at what happened. What am I thankful for? What am I looking to do 2024? Now these have all got little lock icons. Let's have a look here, yep, as we thought. So you get a 48% discount right now, that's nice. Install the app, 
We've got access to daily customization access to all 50 guided journals. We'll look at those in a bit. So 39.99 a year. So we're on a subscription model here. You can buy it for 99.99 or pay monthly for it if you don't want to pay yearly. Well, the best obviously is the year if you like this. So if you think you would benefit from this after having explored it for seven days with the trial that unlocks everything, then it might be something you think is worthwhile investing. I think day one is £33 a year, so it's it's on par with that. So this one doesn't isn't locked, so it's retrospective. Let's see what happens when we go into here. What's your most personal achievement? Why did it stand out to you? And then it gives you a little, in, little bit of text here to give you some inspiration about what you might write. What challenge taught you an important lesson? Again, I like this. I like, I like these kind of promptings because I'm rubbish at coming up with stuff myself. That's why I embraced the bullet journal because it was just boom, boom, boom. Um, I like being encouraged uh, to embellish upon my answer and I like the help that it gives me. Okay, so back to here. All right, okay, so that's our streak over here. So we've got loads of streaks, some badges. We've got some stats here, words written. It's a lot of detail. If you're a detail person, you like to know what you've done and how long you've done it, that'd be really good. Explore. All right, so these must be some of these journal things that you can, you can uh, access. Some will have, yeah, some will be padlocked. Friendship Day, have you made any plans for Friendship Day? So a load of ways of encouraging you to write um list five things that make a friendship work describe how friendship is formed so that's nice collections more collections embrace the new year again some of these are padlocked because they want you to pay for it but it gives you a taster oh this one isn't so this one is collection on less <clears throat> why do we need to have what we own why do we need to have the need to own what motivates us let's go into that what things have you chosen? Oh, so I like, yeah, I like it. And then it gives you a prompt here. Science says we as humans always want more things, and that's why we usually do that. So it gives you a bit of information about why we crave new things, about why, as well as writing the prompt that it's given us. So that's cool. Do you think you can buy something to show your personality? Yep, sure. Not entirely bad, though. What happens if we give it another answer? Sure. Oh, it's the same one. We're just saying yes and sure. <laughs> okay. Um, we hope our new things keep us happy. If you'd like to, some help with limiting your buying, there's a raccoon for that, or rather an app with a friendly raccoon in it. It's the first and likely only app that will help you buy less and save money. What is this? What's it wanting us to go to? Bless minimal shopping habits. Might be something that you want to do. Bit of upselling there, I guess, to another app. Can we... Yep, so that we can go into there. So this is the quote. So we can star that if we like it. We can share it. I guess we can share it as an image. Oh, wow. Oh, I like that. All right. I like that. That's cool. You can save it as an image, I guess, as well, if you want to. But there are your default ones there down at the bottom. And you can write your thoughts about that quote there as well, as you would do a normal journal entry. So it looks like it's got loads of of things going on before you even have to start paying for it well there's a few it gets you started sleep new year introduction to journaling i guess some of that no nope. yeah introduction to journaling etc you get the idea it gives you quotes gives you encouragements gives you um questions to to answer so that's the explore button so home explore Obviously, you've got your default plus. We'll go straight into making a diary entry. Then journal. So this is what you have written in it so far. And day, week, month, year. So that would obviously build up the more that you've got there. Can you view it in a different way? So filter. You can filter it. Morning questions, evening questions, photos. What exercises might you have done? Breathing, meditation, mood, etc. Okay, that's quite good. Okay, so journey. So that gives you what you've done. So this is so these are two. So this is the collection one that we did. This is a journal that we filled in. This was an evening reflection, and we told it we were three out of five energy, one out of five stress. If you tap on it, it gives you a bit more 
of what that was. All right, and then back on over to trends. Here you will see how your mood changes during the week, but there's no data yet. How are you feeling right now? Well, I'm feeling reasonably happy. Um, we need two more days to display your insights. Top activities. If you have the morning preparation tag, which I untagged, didn't I? Uh, I guess that would show up there. I wonder if we can find it here. Okay, I want you to unlock it there. That's fair enough. Personalized morning preparation. So how well did you sleep today? This is what the morning preparation would look like. How motivated are you? What's your, day f What's your main focus? What do you plan to do today? And you can add widgets, I guess, would you call them? Add items. Um, can't add any more today. Can we... Why is it not letting me go over? Ah, right, okay, so we need to... We need to do the... We need to buy it to add more items. And I've removed them. Create your own habit on metric. Okay, whatever that might be. How are you motivated today? How are you feeling? Yeah, that was one we, should, we saw, wasn't it? Prompts. Get a random prompt. Gratitude, productivity, happiness. Quote. Yeah, again, to activate these, you need to put buy it. Prompts library. Okay, I'm not going to go too much into this. There is a this card change for all that I made. There's a lot going on in this app um, that you know we could go on quite a while, um, but you get the idea. It's it's chock a block of of stuff to help you think about things, help you write it down. Um, Day one does does that to to a degree, um, but that's much more journal focus. Whereas this obviously is a journal, but it, it's wanting to help uh, your mental health in a much more integrated way. Um, so yeah, I like that. Anything more up here that we need to do? Is that just go back into the evening reflection so you can add and change things from there? Yep. Um, Personalize your day. So week start when you want the week to start. When you want the day to start, uh, your birthday. Um, appearance, we went through that before, didn't we? Stoic shield. We can help, oh, make your phone work for you, not against you. We can help you avoid distracting apps in the morning and evening, allowing you to focus on preparing for the day. So they need permission to connect to your screen time. So via the screen time, it will get, I guess it will kind of lock apps and things so you can't, access them so you can get this sorted, get your thoughts down before you start doing all that stuff. Your data, back at your data and symmetry on your devices, and it looks like that's iCloud Sync. You can connect it with a pin, Face ID. So that's good, that's all dealt with by Apple and iCloud. Um, I haven't got a redemption code for this to give you, unfortunately, I'm not sponsored by them. Like I said, and if you restore purchase, you could do there. Share, start with your friends, leave a review, etc. Etc. Got loads of stuff going on here. There's a student discount. There you go. So I guess you've got to fill that in. It'll give you 50% student discount. Report a bug. Some widgets. It explains how you might add this to your home screen of your phone um, onboarding. Next. Okay, so this is what we did, at, we did at the beginning. So we'll just skip that. So we could tag those and then we would get the uh, morning and afternoon reminders. So much going on with this app. I might need to give this a bit of time working through it. And then again, like with the day one or with the journal, in a number of months time, maybe I'll come back and do a two, three, four months review of how I felt about it. But on the surface, this looks really good. So you've gone from the really simple with Momently to the really di deep dive into your mental health with Stoic. Okay, back to me. So will you be downloading Stoic or Momently? Have you already got those particular apps? What do you think about them? Why do you keep on using them? Let me know in the comments below. Or are you a day one journal advocate or an Apple journal lover? What is it about those two particular apps that makes you stick with them and not really venture out into the wilderness anywhere else? Because it seems with quite a few of the apps, you can import and export data apart from the Apple Journal app. That seems to be the only one that's letting us down right now. Typical Apple, hey? Anyway, if you've liked this video, there's a playlist right here where you can watch my reviews of the Day One app and the Journal app and the Kindle Scribe as well, if you want to check that out. In the meantime, Happy New Year. And if it's no longer the start of the new year, 
happy insert month here. I hope it's a good one. Take care.